hello and welcome back to another Iron Man video. Finally, we're back after the Maxon series. God, it's been a while. It's just been over a little over a month, I think, since I'll, we're going to put this video out. Wow, I have really been slacking. I've not even got a real good reason for it, other than I just wanted to take a little break from making all the videos. We have still got a lot of clips and I have still been playing just as much, if not more so that we can stockpile a few clips and get a few videos ready and edited ready to get out meaning that my current progress in game is going to be ahead of the videos say if I ever something happen and I won't play as much I'd have something to fall back on basically so that I could always have like a video to put out there even if I didn't play as much or took a break or whatnot so that's why I've kind of done this taking just over a month a month and a half away from making this video but we have been just yeah like I said playing just as much and uh, as you can see, the title of this video, still kind of <laughs> working it out. But I think I'm going to go with Best in Slot Gear Hunter, or BIS for Best in Slot. I mean, the basic aim of this series is literally just PVM, trying to get the top tier gear and end game like gear we can. As you can see on screen, we have the dual appraisals for uh, magic from Angel of Death, and then the dual co purchase on the Manchester, dual ascensions, which just requires me to basically go to the um, Capsarius and Camden and Slayer dungeon. Now, I might keep these on there and then when I get them, or I just add on the Blackbound crossbows because as I'm making this introduction now, we are doing Solak, but at the time I haven't been. So, whether I'm going to continue to do Solak because it's just been scaled, so you can do it in smaller teams, which is kind of nice. Um, I might get rid of ascensions or still go for them because I'm going to need them for like a flank and switch or a tier 9 defender anyway so I might just keep them on there and then add on somewhere the black band crossbows at some point but obviously we have the main tier 92 weapons the telos lots and lots of telos we're going to have to do now I have realised I haven't put the reprisal on here which I probably should have done and I might add on even though it's not very useful in this day and age it's <laughs> kind of useful for Virago and stuff I'm not too sure maybe so like I don't know at some point but it's not overly powerful or useful so I'm not really too fussed if I get it or not then we've got the gear requirements or not requirements the gear goals shall we say which are going to be the acto currently 8 out of 15 which is very nice uh, we are trying to keep up with raids as much as possible but again you don't really need acto too much anymore as you used to so I'll just slowly get that and then obviously as I've already said the tier 9 defenders they're going to be really helpful. I really want to get the tier 90 cow fight rebounder, which is the magic one, and uh, a few other bits and bobs so that I can start pushing Telos up to 1k, which will be really nice. The boots, blaster fusion, laceration in the middle, and then the phoenix boots, as they are all the best in slot for each style. Uh, and I'm gonna to have to do lots and lots of necks for the phoenix boots, and because of trim masterwork, I think you need like what 12 prey solic essence or something, whatever it's called. And you basically get that from the Torva pieces, so I'm gonna have to do loads of that to get Torva, unfortunately. And then we have the flank and switches, the 288 C Singer, I want to say Mackie guy, I'm not quite sure how you pronounce it. Um, and then the Drag or I've just put the, I think that's a long sword picture I've put there, I'm uh, pretty sure. But we can also get the Rapier and the Mace, which makes it nicer. And Cal Flanking isn't too bad, so fingers crossed that shouldn't be too difficult to get. And then this isn't over yet, we also have the Praisal Codexes. We're just trying to get all three of the tier 99 prayers, and then um, we also have the Slayer items, the Cinder Banes, the Ritual Shard, and the Nightmare Gauntlets. I should have mainly or tried to put the Blasted Fusion Boots and Laceration Boots in here because they are basically from Slayer anyway. Um, but I have decided to change this kind of because I'm, I am going to need this for like end game best in stock gear. But Slayer isn't going to be in this series. Now I'm going to do this series which is the best in slot gear hunter but I'm also going to do the Iron Man completion which I'm not going to say too much about because I want to do a different intro and different video and different series for that all uh, entirely but it's basically going to be me going for like completionist and you know Slayer is completionist now because it goes up to 120 which is why I'm just going to chuck Slayer into that series and I'm going to keep this one solely for bossing and PVM um, and following on from that we have got all the perks we are going to need so Aftershock 3 I think I worked out I still think I'm wrong I'm probably going to have to up this or lower it at some point, but I've gone with 11 that I need um, for working it out, but thinking about it now, saying it back to myself, I'm pretty sure I'm going to need about 13 or even 14, uh, maybe even 15, who knows, uh, but for sure we only need two Aftershock, one Planted Feet switches for range and mage, um, 
and I put one there because in this video you are going to see that I have made the magic one I'm pretty sure yes I have and then following on from that we have the elite dungeons 2 drops the great fury flurry and not flurry <laughs> it's not a mick flurry from mcdonald's uh flurry yeah and then the greater bard which is the one everybody goes after and then obviously the elite ceramic and elite tectonic now the tectonic is from ed2 so them two should pair together quite nicely i've just added in the ceramic because uh, i just something i'd quite like to go for to be honest i'd like to try and complete all the elite dungeons and doing like trilogy ones i think that'd be really interesting and really good to do um, now this is just the basic stuff of what I'm going to be going for throughout the series. It could be completing stuff and then replacing it with something else or adding in stuff by the next video. Who knows, more stuff that comes to my head that I really want to do and aim for. And then, yeah, I'm just going to roll the clips on the rest of the series and then at the end we'll come back to this and I will like tick off or add or highlight or colour in, who knows, make it look pretty, look like I know what I'm doing. And we'll add them in at the end and basically the series is gonna follow every single step all the stuff we do all the pvm we're gonna log it track it and hopefully complete everything on this tab so let's get into right so we just got back from doing a hour of the nicta i just thought we'd do just an hour on berserker and um well our kc is just over 1100 now and we actually finally got a uh, another drop we only had two drops up until like 1100 and then in the last 12 we just got the crest of zaro which i put on some legs because we have got a lot of dormant pieces and a few could later we followed with a dragon rider lance which means that if i'm able to get a noxious side from a raxor we can disassemble both of these lances and this for what's that it's gonna be what 12 no yeah 12 components plus we've already got two so that's 14 zaro's components right there easily two astrot threes um, but for now I guess if we just disassemble this and the um, one of the lances on the legs that is eight components plus two we've already got so that's two aftershock threes basically even if we don't get the scythe um, so I'm going to stick that on my noxious staff and seismic wand and we'll have a pretty nice mage set up then that's aftershock three for my four ticking magic set up sorted and then we just need to go to elite dungeons one get the seating upgraded kit and then we'll have a tier 88 flanking switch as well which means that our magic setup will be pretty hench other than the tier 92s and the like blast diffusion boots but other than that the main weapons and majority of it is pretty much um, sorted so yeah i'm gonna just go to blue dragons um level these up to level nine and then we'll disassemble them and um, blue dragons you ask it is because we are trying to get the player on farms egg so far may as well level up these while afk and some blue dragons so fingers crossed we can kill two birds with one right so we've gone ahead and got the level Nine animal core legs of Zaros. We also got the lance a little bit over, but oh well. Um, so if we, well, I'll just perk up. Hang on, where's my other lance? We'll augment this one because we're gonna have to replace it. Uh, I'll stick that down here so I don't get the wrong one. This one, disassemble. And disassemble that one. There we go. For the Jenkin components, for the Jenkin, um, that can go back on there for now. And then if I go ahead and make the, there we go, that's ten. I've shot three for the Noxious Staff and the Seismic Wand. How is it failing? There's only like genuine chance. There we go. The hench setup. I shot three and then we have the P3, E2 and the Singularity and now all I need to do is go to Elite Dungeons 1, get the Seasync Upgrade Kit which means I can put it onto, I can make, where is it, uh, I have an offhand somewhere, this thing, I can make this into a tier 88 and then stick my flanking switch on that meaning that I can level this up to level 9, disassemble it and that means in the future we'll have the planted feet switch for range which is going to go on this crystal chakram and then we can take the sun sphere one and stick it onto a crystal wand or whatever um unless we get like a versus one in the meantime but it doesn't really matter so yeah i'm just going to go to elite dungeons one and um well we can uh hopefully fingers crossed get that ceasing upgrade kit there we go we've just come to ed1 we're about half an hour into a trip and uh one of your lucky charms vanishes and we see this but it got doubled so there we go we have a tier 88 flank um, I just have to go and augment the offhand C singer and then um, level up my orb um, of the sideways to level 9, disassemble it to get flanking 3 off it, 
and uh, yeah that'll be a tier 88 flank um, so very very nice that's uh, another gear upgrade sorted and um, well I guess I may as well finish this hour it's finally been done we've leveled up the sour orb to level 9 so if I go ahead and disassemble this we should get the flanking 3 back so if I stick that onto the C singer that is our tier 88 offhand I've also made this crystal one so if I go ahead and disassemble my sun spear I'll go about and get the uh, planted feet aftershock switch meaning we can put it on the wand and uh, that's our switch done for that which is very nice and then we also have some more sideway components 5 now I just need to get the illogenka components and we can make the second planted feet aftershock one for our ranging switch but for the moment we're not going to be using that anyway uh, there's also a scab 2 there which is kind of nice so just go ahead and change these up on the keybinds. Oh wait, no, not B. Fuck. Gonna be that one. But now we have a pretty hench mage setup. A little side goal we've been uh, aiming for is the noxious side to finally finish it. And um, basically for that we just need the fang and a spider leg top. So now that we've got the top piece, that means we don't need any more leg pieces at all. And we've got a nice two onyxes with that as well. So that is all done. Now we just need a fang. And um, well, we're pretty much done with the racks other than getting the pets, um, but we'll go for that another time. You've got to be taking the piss, legit. <laughs> I'm aging, and we get a web. You just can't make this shit up. This, oh no, <laughs> just need one fang in them. All I want is the pet, uh, not the pet, the fang. What was that, Casey? And we've also got the original one. Hang on, uh, this is 412 KC and the pheromone. This is too easy, I just want to get my fang through. So we got the pet and now we have a spider leg middle. Still no fang, not just yet anyway. Alright, so I've just decided to re-record over this because the original audio sounded disgusting. It was like echoing inside a washing machine or something like that. But anyway, in the clip we finally got that fang we were going for, we've been maging kill after kill after kill and we got the fang in the end so it all paid off, meaning that we have finally made the noxious scythe, I think it was pretty, <laughs> pretty RNG, I don't know why I just said finally, we were pretty lucky making all through the weapons and then everything else we get, you know, the pets in the last few clips, it was pretty insane RNG, I, I, I won't lie, but to make the scythe was a huge relief and it was fair. Uh, done in the end so it took, took us a few mage kills but we got there so that's another weapon made of the tier 90s and there we go nightmare creatures task almost finished and we finally got the uh, well not finally but we got the uh, nightmare gauntlets about time took us long enough <laughs> oh god we're gonna tilt some people manager factory <laughs> we're putting finally ah uh, god this is going to annoy a few people. At least I can disable this task now and this should make next a lot easier. It allows movement and increases accuracy by 25% using the snap ability. Very, very nice indeed. A little bit late on this one on the clip, but we just got the ancient elven ritual trial from killing these vine crawlers in 188 kills. It apparently is a 1 in 1500. So we are pretty lucky. Uh, it is kind of nice to get and it can be used in some places for Slayer etc. It's basically just the enhanced the calibre version but for prayer instead. So it will restore 37% of your total prayer points over 30 seconds. So that will go nicely with a uh, Excalibur. Should save me a few restores along the way. And now at the end of the video we'll basically just renew what we just did at the start. So as you can tell now the tier 88 flanker switch is now highlighted. And then the scythe that we did make it would have been on here but i just didn't bother we were so close to making it i just thought by the time we get this out it would have been done and dusted anyway but i thought better off include it anyway i want to keep everything logged um so we have made the noxious scythe so that is all the tier 90 weapons done which we've just seen the clip of and then if we go into the next page we basically have the slayer item so the ancient elven ritual shard and the nightmare gauntlets we have done i've put two aftershock threes in now and we've done the two out to Planted feet switches as well, so that is all done and dusted, and that is the progress for this video done. So basically, <laughs> you'll see the improvements happening. I think in the next one, I'll make. I'm gonna probably make a few changes and um, try and get a few more things recorded for it, and just try and make every video better for you guys. The audio in the last few series, in the last series. Probably weren't as good as it could be in the editing was a bit. Eh, just throw it together, get it out there. But I want to try and make a few improvements here. 
I genuinely make this series like good for you guys to watch and enjoy. Um, so in the next one, I'm probably gonna do more progress and keep upping it, and then the next one, I'm gonna try and get the Iron Man completion series out because in the minute I have been doing a lot of PVM, but I've also been doing a lot of Slayer and farming and this that and the other so I should have enough stuff for the Iron Man completion video going for the cape and just talking over what that is going to entail but this is finally done I just want to get this one done and dusted and out there and then I'm going to have to make the next one and get that settled and then I'll try and get a schedule going um, especially with the fact that I can play more and um, so fingers crossed we can get something good going and I can just sort of buckle down and keep it going because I'm having a lot of fun PVMing and I'm having a lot of fun doing skilling at the minute and just having a lot of fun with RuneScape so hopefully I can keep it going into the videos and uh, you guys can just enjoy it too so if you made it all the way to the end of this video which I probably didn't <laughs> probably talking to myself here uh, but if you did I'd just like really appreciate it if you could leave a comment and any feedback and um, basically like the video and subscribe for the rest of this series anything any little improvements you think I could make any at all please don't hesitate comment below let me know PM in game uh, you can probably tell me my RSN is anyway join the friendship clan this that and the other there's so many ways but thanks for watching and I'll see you in the next one